But size isn't everything. What makes the USS Ford a true boogeyman lies deep beneath nine decks where the sun never shines. The heart of this monster is two next-generation Bechtel A1B nuclear reactors. In previous generations, reactors simply boiled water to spin turbines. But on the Ford, they are miniature, incredibly aggressive nuclear power plants. They generate 250% more electricity than the Nimitz class. Why is so much power needed? To run the AC for 4,500 sailors? No. Excess power is a strategic calculation. The U.S. Navy knows that the future of warfare is not gunpowder. It is directed energy. They have turned this ship into a giant power outlet ready for laser weapons and electromagnetic railguns, the things that will shoot down the hypersonic missiles you are afraid of. And the clearest proof of this electrical power is emails, the electromagnetic aircraft launch system. Many of you have commented criticizing this system as unproven and prone to failure. True, it has had its troubles. But look at the physics. For the last 50 years, we threw planes into the sky using steam. It was jerky, brutal, and damaged the airframes. Emails changes everything. It uses electromagnetic fields, just like the technology in maglev trains or the most modern roller coasters. The result? It accelerates a 30-ton fighter jet from zero to 160 miles per hour in just three seconds, but smooth as silk. More importantly, it needs no boilers, no fresh water, and resets faster. This allows the Ford to launch planes 25% faster than the Nimitz, 